Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'll be showing you how to use layer masks in Photoshop. So to get started we're going to open up Photoshop and here you can see that I have a nice image of some mountains and so we're going to be applying a layer mask to this photo um, so that I can show you how they work. So I'm just going to take and go to the bottom of my layers palette and I'm going to click on this little uh, rectangle with a white circle in the middle and if you hover over it it'll probably say layer mask. Um, but we're just going to click on that and you can see that it will add it right there onto your layer so you should now have a white uh, rectangle on there you can right click on it and you get some options about layer masks you can disable them or delete them um, and use masks um, and selections in order to add them um, so basically what a layer mask does is it allows you to hide or show um, different parts of your image so basically anything that's white um, will be shown and anything that's black will be taken away so you can remember that um, because when you add it it's white and you still see the entire image so by adding black onto it um, it will disappear so I'm just gonna show you how that works So I'm just gonna grab my brush tool and I'm going to make sure I have black as my foreground and basically I can just take and paint away whatever I don't want and so you can just make whatever size brush or any kind of um, custom brushes or anything that you want you can just paint away so say that we wanted to take out this sky and we wanted to replace it with some kind of other sky we'd first need to take out the old sky so just painting with black I'm basically um, erasing out that sky now you might be asking yourself why not just use the eraser tool wouldn't that give you the same effect um, yes it would give you the same effect but the thing is you can see over here we have now um, you can see kind of a demonstration of what we have on the screen right there on the layer mask you can see half of its black and half of its white um, the thing about erasing is if you were to save it and um, then take and open it up later um, you'd pretty much be screwed as far as trying to go back and trying to edit that again because that data is lost but here the photo is still there if we take and go to this hit X in order to switch to white as our foreground color we can basically take and paint back in anything that we want just by brushing in with white so you can easily um, hide and subtract things without destructively um, editing them so um, there's one more thing that I wanted to show you now if you let's just take and delete this layer mask you can disable which basically turns it off and then you can delete it which removes it completely so what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna show you you can take and make a selection so let's say that I make a very nice selection of this um, in a perfect world and so now what I want to do is take and mask that out so you can take and once you have your selection made then click on the layer that you want the um, mask to be put onto and then just click the layer mask button and it will automatically mask it out now if that was the opposite of what you wanted to happen you can take and go up to image and then with make sure that you're clicked onto the layer mask go up to image then to adjustments and then down to invert and it'll um, give you the reverse of your selection so these are really um, dynamic things, um, layer masks. You can do a lot of things with them. You can take and paint with a different opacity in order to get some effects. You can use gradients um, from black to white. So make sure and experiment around with them because they're definitely um, a lot better than erasing um, and it allows you to keep the data of your photos because uh, a lot of times you'll need it later and you don't want to not have it when you need it. So I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. And I'll see you next week with a new video tutorial. Thanks for watching.